evening off. Our big story right now at 10, pollen. It's wreaking havoc for all of us who suffer from allergies. If you've tried to find relief at your local pharmacy, you may have walked away without the medicine you needed. Local 15's Andrea Ramey joins us live now. And Andrea, pseudoephedrine is in some cases hard to come by, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, Greg. Several CBS and Walgreens locations told me this afternoon they're out of it. So that means drugs like Claritin D aren't in stock at the moment. But we did speak with several locally owned pharmacies that say they still have it, which is good news for allergy sufferers. My face gets really puffy, I get really uncomfortable, and my throat is really scratchy. Every year about this time, Krista Mosley experiences the same symptoms. And I sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and sneeze. I see this other side. Yeah. <laughs> this is about the time we usually see it. We usually you know, get a peak in March, right when all the flowers and trees start to, to bloom and pollen's flying everywhere. Dr. O says almost all the patients he's seeing lately are complaining about allergies. He says over-the-counter medicines like antihistamines and decongestants work for many people. Some people have really bad allergies and they have to take it up a notch, might need a prescription to try and get them through allergy season or even go to um, have allergy testing done and get allergy shots. For folks like Mosley, thank you for calling Compass Urgent Care. This is it's all about playing the pollen waiting game. Till the pollen stops. When when it rains, like it rained the other night, um, I was good for that day because it washed it all off, but then it was right back that evening. Dr. O says the number one treatment is prevention. This time of year, it's nice to open the windows, but he says keep them closed. And he says the pollen is worse in the morning, so try to avoid being outside then. Live in the newsroom tonight, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News. Andrea, thanks.